Alright, welcome back. Give me a second. There we go. Uh, I hear there's a bakery somewhere up ahead. It's a good thing too, I'm starving. I could just eat about anything. At this point. This is the worst possible timing. You gotta admit though, it's pretty good. No, I don't. Either way, we're gonna have to figure out what to do about it. But it might just ca might cause trouble later in. Well, look who's here. Little goody two-shoes. You made it through the Navy Zone. Congratulations. Don't get too excited, though. We'd usually be taken on the normal path, but... What in the... What is that? Yeah. We'll have to take a detour. Luckily, I know a shortcut. We can go through here. Well, you sure? I mean, not to shoot you down or anything, but... Path looks kind of dark, don't you think? Well, think of it this way. We won't run into... them. Now, follow me. Good thing you'll be with a superhero kit, <laughs> huh? It's like having a personal bodyguard. Anyway, when you're ready, just follow us, uh, follow us in. Ready? Here we go. Hey, bro. Isn't this the place where your friend hangs out? Oh, Muffet? Yes, but she won't bother us. That's good, but what about the kid? It'll be completely fine, probably. Oh, don't worry, kid. You're in safe hands. Yeah, once we get you to Starstruck Village, we can all enjoy the f Uh, Sands? Yep. Where's the human? Ah, oh, jeez. Oh. What is this? You know, being a hero and all, I really should have seen getting tangled up in some shady business. You're not helping. Sorry, bro. Just trying to lighten up the mood. Do you see our situation? I was told to keep the humans safe, not deliver them to, for pastry baking. That doesn't sound very tasty. Brother, I swear. Hey, Papyrus, why don't you calm down? Calm down? Sans, I'm very y Yes, really. Besides, you're hardly calm yourself. That's just my blood sugar rising. That's one of the latest excuses I've ever heard. Oh yeah? Well, at least I don't wear a shirt backwards. Yeah, well, wait, what? Oh hey, the kid's up. Human, I'm glad you're awake. Now hurry, we haven't much time. And tie us quickly, so we can get out of- I've heard a lot of things about you. Did you know humans like to crush spiders? Uh-oh. They like to tear off their limbs one by one. I heard some even eat them. But, but don't you worry, dearie. I bet you'll taste even better when I'm through with you. Okay, uh... Up at attack 8.8, <laughs> leader of the spider scouts. He doesn't seem to be interested in negotiation. Outlast her attacks. Muffet, I don't understand. I thought we were friends. No hard feelings, but this is an opportunity I can't pass up. Oh. Oh, okay. Muffet is trying to sell Pyrus a spider pop. Pyrus is considering it. Oh wait, yeah, I probably should try some of the other options. What kind of opportunity? Someone in the shadow gave me an option offer. If I get a hold of this human and give their soul, I keep the body of I keep the body to bake into pastries. Ah, oh, this is Oh, okay, that was close. Upcoming. Method is choosing to ignore that terrible web punch and crossbow. Uh I struggle against the webs. I can see my armor nearby. Don't look so blue, dear, my dear. 
Oh. After all, I think purple is a better look for you. <laughs> Blue looks great on them, too. I'm tangled in a strange purple web. I ask not why she's doing this. Don't you see, dearie? Nobody gives the spiders more than a glance. Someone has to do something for them. Such an that ingredient will surely draw attention. That way, the spider clan can finally reunite. Our market can't reach as far as we'd like. I struggle against the webs, inching towards my armor. There, I re-equip the torn apron. Everything past Royal Bluffs, including the city of Nil, it's far too cold for my spiders to survive. But oh, how rude I've been. After all, it's already breakfast time. Say hello to my pet, dear. Oh, okay, I wasn't expecting that. Super dog. It's a bird, it's a plane. It's, it's in my, okay. Oh, is this transiting back to red? Okay, that's cool. So against the webs. Nothing happens. But Muffet gives me a pity discount. Wait, didn't you have a partnership? With Metacrit and Sir Swatch a lot? Sir Scratch a lot, right? At one point, yes. The moment they both hit big, they left the spider clan to dust. Nobody has even thought to reach out to check on us. Ow, okay. Nothing happens, but Price offers words of encouragement. Separated from the rest of our clan by the fatal cold. With all of the money we'd make from p human pastries, we'll be able to rent a neat, a heated limo. That's a muffet that I haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> Do you really expect me to believe you? After all, humans are known for their hatred of spiders. I just caused one to help convince Muffet. Okay, uh, sorry, I got nothing. Can't think of, can't think on the spot. Doesn't being here one involved thinking on the spot? Heh, <laughs> whoops. Well, Muffet, perhaps this is just me, but I wouldn't want to eat pastries made of human. You've got like organs and stuff, right? That'd be pretty gross. Oh, what? Huh? Oh, that's gonna. Okay. Ask Spires to help convince Muffet. Muffet, we are friends, aren't we? The human means no harm, and loves spiders very much. I suggest you stop talking, dearie. Our skeleton sandwiches will be on the menu. No, I don't want to be a sandwich. Well, I'm not selling the I'm not selling to only you two, you know. There will be plenty of monsters. Plenty of monsters open to taste exotic sweets. I know my pet wouldn't mind tasting human, and it's already lunchtime too. Muffet is choosing to ignore that terrible web pun from Crossbones. Yep. Uh. Oh, her mouth speaks, but Muffet laughs in my face. Alright. I struggle against the webs, but nothing happens. Oh, dear. What's wrong, my pet? You've worked up quite the appetite, haven't you? Well, in that case, I suppose we'll skip straight to dessert. Uh, you might want to wait on that. Looks like you got a visitor. Oh, what's this? A message from the bake sale? Don't worry, my pet. This will only take a moment. Oh, my. Is that so? Huh? What is it? It says the human visited the bake sale, and they purchased our food, and not only that, a gold-plated, well, 
well now. See, we told you. The human hasn't done anything wrong. If anything, they've helped your spiders. Well, yes, but... But what? Let them go. I have a deal to uphold, dear friend. If this human goes free, business will stay slow. But, aren't, but are you really prepared to take a life? Even after the good they've done for you? That, I... Now, brother. Now. Oh, spider thing, come get it. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> well, that was quite the pickle. Good thing that was over. Guess we make a pretty good, a pretty nice team, huh? But you didn't even do anything, other th other than talk to her. Gave you a good distraction, didn't I? That's true. I guess we do make a nice team. Yes, yes, that's lovely and all. Now, can you three leave? I have business to attend to. Might as well. We're gonna be late f for that book signing gig. Oh, shoot. Is that really that soon? Well, human, we'll have to part yet again. There's a friend in town waiting for us. Don't get into any trouble on the way over there. Not that I think you will, but you know. In any case, see you later. Don't you have any business to ruin, dear? Why, that's something you're absolutely perfect at. Go and do that, would you? Eh, okay. Smells like spider- the smell of spiders fills me with determination. It's a poster advertising the spider bake cell, but it's falling over. There's a camera stuck behind this web. Uh, somebody likely found it and this was their way of sending a message. So, can't do anything here? Alright. Who are you? Oh, man. I keep messing up the puzzle. The green mushrooms let me pick the angle I can jump. But the blue ones just throw me in the same direction. Oh, I don't want to be late for the festival. Uh, actually, wait, no, I don't want that. Ow. <laughs> that, that is the wrong decision. Oh, come on. So wait, what's up here? Ah, okay, that's just a way to turn it back. Um... So wait, I'm gonna... Oh, it's really hard to push these things. Ah, uh, okay. Let me put this near the front. Okay. Um. Oh, wrong one. Uh. Alright. Then the other one goes... Up there, right, okay. Wait, but how do I... Alright, no, I can't get past here. The stump is blocking access to the mushroom. Maybe there's another way? Yeah, I'm trying to find that. I don't see another way because we can't turn the arrow if we turn it this way then we're stuck because we won't be able to get back down there I mean now we're just now stuck how do we get down here now what oh I have to leave what wait how do you do this 
So you can't change direction on the blue ones, but you can't get the gray one in place. That doesn't make any sense. So, of course, that has to be the first step. But then how do we get back here? We'd have to go to the right. But we can't get to the right if we hit the button up there. Because then we're just stuck doing that. Wait, maybe we can... Let me try something. Can I... Oh. Huh. Yeah, but I still can't get down there, so that's not super helpful. Ah, uh, okay. I see. Alright, let's go... That was... complicated. <laughs> the odd structure in the distance fills me with determination. Alright, yeah. So, wait, dented pan? What was this? Uh, dented pan. Oh! I don't remember that at all. Has that always been there? Um... You know, I probably could have used the spider stuff to instantly skip the battle. Let's put that in here for now. Uh, honestly, two grill burgers should be pretty good. Oh, wait. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> That's amazing. Alright, let's go. It's a cute little dog, dog house for cute little dogs. Ah, perhaps it is a mobile home. <laughs> I have you now, Brett. Behold, my new form. You thought you bested me in ruin, home, did you? Wrong, wrong, wrong. You can't take me down that easily. That dummy was just holding me back from my true potential. With this body, you don't stand a chance. It's a like bigger, sturdier. And best of all, it's fully insured. How did I get this body, you ask? Well, you see. First, I talked to some creepy guys. They promised me riches and revenge. Next, they s they stole this house. It had gotten a little it had gotten a little rust I had gotten a little rusty with possession, but I did it. And now, I am more powerful than you could ever imagine. And this is all thanks to you helping me realize my old body suck. Hey, what are you doing? Get back here! I was not looking for him. Oh my. Okay, this is getting a little difficult. What, the, what was that? I, I can't believe it. I did it. You did it. We did it. Yes, we did it. And with less property damage than I expected. So, is it the human I've been hearing about? Hmm, interesting. I wasn't expecting it to be so short, though. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Now hand him over. Mm, no, I don't think I will. Wh what? But we had a deal. A deal. A de yes, yes, I know. I'm altering the deal. Altering the deal? You can't do that. Why? Of course I can. I mean, Count Coffin K. And frankly, I have much better plans for this human than you probably do. But you, you said I was going to help you defeat Cross, or help defeat Crossman. Haha, <laughs> oh, I hate to break it to you, but your services were never necessary. There's a lesson to be learned 
for dummies like you. Never make a deal with a bat themed supervillain. Now, Harry, Larry, get this sack of get this shack out of my sight. Guess we gotta take out the trash here, see? <laughs> I feel bad for the real estate company. No, you can't do this to me. I'll be back! <laughs> Ah, uh, nothing like a good old-fashioned double cry. Now, you, human, shall become my spooky servant with a spooky servant uniform. Oh, okay, that's... Aha, uh -huh. I found Bethlehemu's old suit. It's just your size. Don't ask me who the thought it is. And now, enjoy your millennial chores of doom. Honestly, I was expecting worse. This is not that bad. Looks like the Count brought you on board, see? Welcome to the Spooky Servant Mansion. We built it ourselves. Some fine craftsmanship we got, eh, Rumi? Boss told us to fill some extra fill some extra stuff out for you. See? We did, so we did. All your duties in that in that journal, see? You just do the duties, get the duties done. Yeah. Lots and lots of duties. Haha. <laughs> anyhow. Anywho, see? While you're out working doing all that hard stuff. We're gonna be goofing off. Sucker. Let's beat it, Larry. These guys are amazing. <laughs> My items are gone. What? Ah, well. Let's see. Put my fabulous suit through the laundry, then bring it to me. It smells terrible. I'm hungry, but, count, but a count like myself has no time for hunter gathering. Bring me a donut. My steamed fish Jeremy requires sustenance. Feed him, please. Okay. Oh. The, the visible comfort of the mattress fills you with determination. My, the computer shows noticeable signs of wear and tear. Towering pillar of hats. Just in case you were to forget yours. The boogeyman's prize shovel and a hole in the floor. That coffin would have a guy and his sheer aud audacity. I used to have this tunnel set up here around here. Great place, had air conditioning and all. Then he takes over this place, starts doing renovations. Next thing I know, he shoves paper in my face saying he owns the island now. Can the guy dig some holes anymore? My duties as janitor are absolute. Leave no speck of dust unwashed. I just wish the boss would stop paying, paying me in dirty money. <laughs> It's some kind of laundry detergent dispenser. Wonder if I can carry it with me. The detergent, I mean, not the dispenser. <laughs> mm, yeah, that makes sense. Count ordered me to guard the garbage. Nobody's getting in here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay, so you can do it again. Yep, okay. Uh, I guess we go in here. Oh! It's the rack of coffin key brochures. Each with a map of key points of interest. I'll take one for safekeeping. I think this is meant to guide visitors to the nearby brochures. That, or it's intended to scare off intruders. Uh, no, oh, she can't. Oh! Knock, knock, knock. That's incredible. You're the first in ages to have knocked instead of just bum rushing, in, bum rushing the door. Just give me a moment. I need to process this. N no, I'm afraid I can't come out. My scar has to look right, just right. Okay. <laughs> down here. Nothing. Okay. Uh-oh.
Okay, I didn't actually take damage from that. That's fine then. Hey there. Welcome to the scenic oasis of Germany. Here, you can see the ferocious Jeremy in his natural habitat. If you've brought any snacks, give them to Jeremy. His feeding hole is, in, is to the right. The count is paying us to just watch the fish. Make sure he doesn't get out. Yeah, like he's gonna do that. Well, at least it isn't any worse. Anything worse. I mean... Tap on the glass. Jeremy has gotten stronger. I'd rather not. This may be the toughest adversary yet. Day 23 of watching Jeremy. Strength still at minimum level. Still though. Yeah, maybe don't make Jeremy super strong. Oh, that was close. There we go. Forgot about... Uh, okay, let's go, uh, go to the right first before we go upstairs. Hey. You want more bullets? Here's a bulletin. Don't disturb me. You know what? Okay. So I may have been a little rude. Fine, I'm sorry. Disturb me for as long as your heart demands. Yep, I asked for this. <laughs> Notice, the bats are feeling rather blue. Don't move, and they won't bother you. Alright. Uh... I'll open the chest. There's a note inside. <laughs> Fooled by my distraction of finest caliber. Oh, okay. Ow. Okay. A chiseled statue of Coffin K. Little buddy, is that you? For the love of God, please help me. If I move even a little from the spot, the bats get angry. Please. The bats surround Burger Pan. Unfortunately, there's nothing I seem to be able to do about it. They changed the drink roster again. Man, talk about a FOMO. And just when I muttered up the courage to get a taste of the passive-aggressive sip. I guess I'll just have to remain plain, sim plain passive. Slow day today. That flock of bats was holding up her orders. I wasn't here for the whole thing, but I think they saw that guy's bow tie, and uh... They might have been accusing him of wearing one of their kind. Poor guy. Okay, so I guess maybe later we can come back and do something about that. Okay. Uh, what is this? Oh, key. Okay. What was that? Oh, what's this then? A lonely little human. Wandering into my domain. Eager to s snatch my prize. Well. You will die. Ah, I see what we gotta do. Ah. Duh. I like shiny things. Jenner's key was added to the servant item. Duh. It was just so shiny. Duh. Okay. <laughs> A small rubber duck dressed like a pirate. This bond, this vagabond, has escaped its bathtub prison. For a pirate is free. Ow! I've kind of just taken the damage. There's not a whole lot I can do to stop it. Wait, so what did we get? Uh, dinner key. I wonder what. I wonder what key the or what room this key could open. Uh, 
Uh, I guess we can go to the middle room. Back crossing. True. Oh, okay. Getting a little low. Oh, hey. Howdy. It's been a while. You sure have a knack for getting yourself into trouble, huh? I guess it I guess it makes for a more exciting day at the end of it, but you really ought to be a little more careful, you know. Nice get up, by the way. So, you're actually gonna fulfill Batty Boy's demands. Well, it just so happens that yours truly knows this place through and through. It's a big castle out there. If you ever need a hint, just give your new pal Flowey a holler. Really? He asked you to clean it? Wow. I thought the laundry room was just for show. I'm talking about the one on the east side, of course. You'd be looking for the suit and the basket. Or was it the one in the, on the coat rack? Whichever one looks less comp or less compensated in that, any case. I don't think I'll need hints. Oh hey, easy there, Sharky. I'm here. I'm here on an extended vacation. Yeah, I thought it'd be cool to visit the visit scenic coffin keep for a week or so. Then the guy in charge came up and seemed really excited about me being a shark. Something about how every supervillain layer needs at least one, yeah? Now I'm basically paid to just live here. Life's good. What's this? Super secret passages. At the end of these tunnels await a treasure. The treasure is so treacherous. You shall never discover it. Abandon all hope and... <laughs> Abandon all hope for the fabled rock candy. Emphasis that uh, emphasizing that abandon all hope part. You're sure to be lost in no time. Um. What? Uh. Oh. Boo. Huh. Huh. Yeah. Kid. We're lost. Nope, it has to be this way. Okay, so... Let's go right this time. And then we'll go right again. Ah! Now, now I know it may seem like the right door is the only way. But upon further inspection of the, this map, take the leftmost door. Okay, so... No more hints for you. Follow your wits. Oh. Okay, this is... Trophy-shaped coffin K. Some faint red paint is scrubbed out at the bottom. I do not know what I'm doing. What? How are you supposed to do this? Maybe just go all left? Let's try that. I don't get it. How? What? How are you supposed to do this? It appears that there is an average everyday rock. Oh, this must be the fabled rock candy. <sighs> you know, I should not be surprised. What? Okay, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised. Good. You're not ready to take a ride in the spinning wheel of death, doom, terror. Otherwise known as the washing machine over there. Did somebody fill it up already? I was promised the spin of a lifetime. 
I noticed coffin cage is dirty suit hiding in the basket. It's part of my task, so I might as well nab it. Dirty suit was added to serving items. Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, it's an empty detergent bottle. Oh, right. Yeah, we're gonna... Forgot about that. It's actually really easy to get to that room. Uh... It's time to fill this up. Is it clogged? Perhaps if we give it another turn. Ah, I just cleaned this place. Now I'll be paid. Now I'll be paid more for cleaning it again. Great. Detergent bottle was added to servant items. All right. Ow. 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 <laughs> Stuff the dirty suit into the washing machine and filled it up with detergent. <laughs> it's sparkling and clean. Clean suit was added to servant items. What's this? Time well spent. <laughs> What's up? Don't you have the suit on you right now? Go deliver it. Wouldn't want to. Wouldn't want the count not looking his Sunday best. Oh hey. Ah, Captain Geek. I re I recall how old and decrepit this castle used to be. Everything changed when the when that coffin K fella came and spruced up the place. He paid an absurd, absurd amount of gold for restoration efforts, and for an oddly specific list of monsters to reside here, including yours truly, the former or caretaker. You're looking for a donut? Neat. I had a donut once, just earlier, but it was crawling with spiders. Poor donut. It's out living in the, with the trash now. Donut's a donut. What a spectacle. It should be a shame if it were in the way of one of your tasks. Oh, hey, there's a donut guy right there. Is that good enough? Yeah. You want this donut? You want a piece of me? Ah, uh, you mean the donut on the table. Well, sorry. But I have an unhealthy attachment to this one. But it's okay, I also happen to enjoy a good poem. Find me a well-crafted poem. One from the heart and soul of de dedicated thespian. Even the fireplace here is living it up. <laughs> Just gonna... Comedically large table. A comedically little usage, it seems. Alright, what's this? I can see a wicked kitchen preparing evil meals. You know, I really like this place. It's got a good vibe. Alright, well. Yep, it's really easy to leave here. <laughs> hey, you. You ought to know that if you got any servant items to boss me, you gotta go up there and give them to him. He don't like leaving his spot. He likes it living up there. Why? Because he likes looking down upon us? Like the lowly servants we are? Nah. Because he's stupid. <laughs> Did I say that too loud? Well, we better not find out. Let's scram. Gotta go give... Oh no. Alright. 
It's Jeremy's feeding hole. He Jeremy the rock candy? Bon appetit. It may be an acquired taste, but Jeremy should be fine. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> I fed him a rock. What else did you think would happen? <laughs> True, I guess. Oh. Okay. Alright. Why are they running through it there? And then I'm assuming this is the place he lives at? What was the other thing we had to... Oh, wait. Uh-huh. My spooky servant. How does Coven keep treating you thus far? What do you think? I think it's treating you miserably. It's a glorious monument to the important things in life. Death, debarment, or debarment? Never heard of that one. And the pursuit of unhappiness. This place, Coven Keep, is a twisted isle of my making. The most depraved and evil monsters in the underground. The ideal destination for plotting, scheming, and fiendishly cackling. As noted in the travel brochure. What were we talking about? Ah, yes. I presume that you brought me a servant item. Give it here. Ah, yes, my suit. Well done. Well done, servant. Shall put it with the 19 other suits I have stored in my wardrobe. All of which look exactly the same. <laughs> if that's all, I must return to my magical scheming. Now, be gone. Ah, okay. What was the last thing? Uh. Oh, right, yeah. Donut in the trash or a poem. This bookshelf is filled with, the, filled with brand new books. Evil Laugh for Dummies 101. How to Master the Super Villain Laugh. The AB, <laughs> AB Crypts of Evil Laughs. The History of Soap Operas for Evil Villains. I'm not missing out on much. <laughs> Uh, Chronicles of Coffin Keep, Volume 1. Chronicles of Coffin Keep, Volume 2. The entire bookshelf is filled with 20 more vol or 26 more volumes. So... Was there trash over here? How? I have no clue where to go. Um, I mean, I gotta be missing something. Oh, yep, go. Ow. <laughs> Probably should save. We're getting a little bit low. You're looking for a donut. Go over there I might be able to give you one. Though he's a bit of he, he he's a bit of a personality. So what do we Yeah? You want this donut? You want a piece of meat? Oh sorry. Um Do I find a poem? Um, monument of villainy, completed with. <laughs> That's great. Where? Okay, where on earth would I find a poem? That's just a random item. Not up here. Not. The right, not maybe outside. Special business, go ahead. Oh, 
garbage, garbage. Oh, hey, donut. The boss wants us to wash the dishes, see? Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes will attack. Fire at will. That was easy. <laughs> a new gar a new garbage guardian has appeared. Can't go back in. Does this mean I'm out of a job? <laughs> All right, well, let's go get his donut. Aha, uh -huh. there you are, your hardworking servant. Keep up, pay, keep up pace for the night is still young, but enough talk. I presume you brought me a, brought a servant item. out with it. What an unsuspic unsuspicious and strong smell. Spiders, my favorite flavor. How could you know? Unless... Oh, oh, <laughs> Could it be you've read my autobiography? Or perhaps your tastes are just as terrible as mine? No, impossible. What's that? You've finished your servant duties? Ha, 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 ha. No, you haven't. I shall summon the boogeyman downstairs for you. Until then, be gone. Oh, I like how when you run it gets a little quicker. Hey, Boza. Good. Need a lift? Because whether you need one or not, it's boss's orders, see? Up, you, up we go. Wait, I was just up there. Hey, what do you think he wants us for anyway? Maybe it's a surprise. Maybe he finally appreciates us. Maybe it's our birthday. Maybe. You're in big trouble. Jeez, how much further does this go? This, his study is right up there. You can see it. What are you stopping for? We finished our servant duties too, haven't, haven't we? See ya, kid. Staircase racing towards the study door fills you with, fills you with determination. I keeps forgetting it says me. It's just so unusual. Excellent, excellent. You've completed your servant duty. You've washed my suit. You fetched me a donut. You've even fed Jeremy. No one wants to feed Jeremy. You've shown great loyalty thus far, dear lackey. But now it's time for your final task. Hey, boss. Let's finish all our tasks. Now what do you need us in here for? See? Ha 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 ha. Servant. Battle Harry and Larry. Wait. What? Harry. Attack 13, defense 6. You can tell he's Harry because he's Harry. That was a clever attack. The boogeymen are the boogeymen are dancing to the music. Larry, that you can tell he's Larry because he's Larry. <laughs> oh, you guys have a good theme. Ask Larry about the last thing Coffin asked of him. He seems to like it. He was asked me to do his laundry. He didn't ask no one else until you came around. <laughs> I mentioned lunch, and Harry became motivated by hunger to end the battle quicker. Harry's speed went up. Yeah, I hate to admit, but the brat's right. I'm famished. See? I don't even need healing. These guys' attacks are not hard to dodge. Harry's, Harry, smacks my, <laughs> Harry smacks my hand as, as I reach out to bop his nose. He's off to merchandise, see? Yeah, that's gonna cost you. Oh, oh, I didn't think it would rotate. <laughs> Alright, they only did one damage? I asked Larry to speak his mind. 
Harry saying that boss only trusts him with his laundry, but, the uh, I do the boss's laundry all the time. Hey, you telling fibs over here? Oh. Ah, oh, my eyes! <laughs> These guys are amazing. Now it's Larry to elaborate. What does the boss have them to do that Harry doesn't? Well, the I keep Jeremy fed. Harry never feeds them. Hey, that's a bold-faced lie, you liar. I do, I do more for that fish than you do. See? Oh, okay. I didn't know what was gonna happen. <laughs> Harry's itching to get at the warden. Turn to Harry. What does what does he do? With that? I keep drinking water at perfect 80 degrees, like temperature. That leg over there doesn't know what the temperature is. Uh, is that measurement for perfect chocolate milk, right? No, you idiot. Oh, cool. Well, Harry and Larry look ready to swing at one another. Uh, before I can even mention food, Larry starts yelling. Larry, speed one up. Yeah, where are the munchies? Um, well, this one's a little obvious. Oh, wow, okay, I didn't think that explosion would keep expanding. But though Larry, he seems devoted to keep his boss happy. His face lights up. You betcha I do. You betcha you d I betcha you don't. I may regret this. I'll tell, I'll tell Harry that from the sound of it, Coffin K seems to trust Larry the most. What? Haha, <laughs> look at that. Kid's smarter than they look. That kid don't know squat. See, I'm doing the boss's laundry. Well, I'm I'm doing feeding the fish. Yeah, feeding him garbage. Well, at least the boss appreciates what I do. Oh yeah. Well, at least the boss actually likes my presence. See, why you little, why you big ol' Uh, oh no. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, look at the pretty lights. Uh, how I love the countryside. Wow, ingenious servant. When faced by more than one foe, you look for a weak point and turn them against each other. You have completed your final task. With that, proven your loyalty and compatibility. But now, it's time for the next step. Harry and Larry, bring up the megaphone. Uh, yes, I'll get the garbage. Mo oh, thing to me more. <laughs> Bogeyman, I said, the megaphone. Y yes, boss. The, the yes, boss. <laughs> Good. Now, imbecile, you've shown great passion, but you must work on your teamwork. Did you really think I'd favor one psychic over another? I've picked you both as a duo. That means you're both as e equally useful as you are equally inept. Wow, you... You really mean that, boss? Of course I do. You're both idiots, but you're idiots together. Gee, Larry, I'm <laughs> so... <laughs> Now, if we can get back on track. Attention all residents. This is your count speaking. The time has come. A shining moment. Almost to fruition. I am calling a meeting to convene in the dining room. There will be plenty of monologuing and refreshing. Don't be late. The last one there must wash the dishes. Heh, <laughs> make sure you ain't late, kid. Huh, <laughs> yeah, or else you gotta wash the dishes. Quick, Larry, we can't be late. I don't wanna wash the dishes again. <clears throat> um. Do 
we have new... Oh yeah, we do. The Count of Kava Keep. The case stands for something. Status, plotting evil. Alright. Uh, was it this way? No, oh, it was the other way, right? Ow. What a fun waste of your time this was. Oh, I'm just thinking about those tasks you completed. And that final test. Without all this, you could have been past the village by now. My point being, are these adventures with Tuffy really worth it? He's so worth it. I was asking about the adventure, not... <laughs> but, alright. I didn't know you felt that way. I just hope you bear in mind, you're supposed to be the one in charge. They're expecting you up ahead. You better book it. Oh, and your secret's safe with me. <laughs> That's amazing. There's my spooky servant, fashionably late as expected. You're tonight's guest of honor. Come in, take a seat. Hey, didn't you say there'd be refreshments? Huh, I lied. There were never any. Okay, well, I still lied, just in a different way. But that's not why you're here. No, tonight. Tonight, at last, I'm putting into motion my masterfulest of plans. You'll all be, you'll all be witness to the early peak and to what it entails. And I expect you to pay attention too, servant. As you all may know, Special Village's main festival, the Guiding Light, is quickly approaching. Uh, boss, isn't it happening right now? Yes, sort of, in a way. But let's be honest. Is any festival truly happening without Kof and K present? They say, oh, what fun. Such a fun festival. They haven't seen fun until I brought in my attractions. Will, will sow chaos, havoc, and destruction, terrifying the po populace with no obstruction. We shall make haste to the crown jewel, and will steal it before everyone's eyes. Thus, it will become property of the keep, our very own attraction. The guiding light visitors will p soon be guided to us instead. So, what's that crown jewel look looking like? What? Uh, you know, because we don't know what we're... St the details are far too detailish. I can't waste my time going through each dil diligently planned step. Spooky Servant, don't you think my plan is negatively evil? <laughs> ha, see? The human can get see past the surface, where the rest can't. They'll never doubt me again. Well, time is of the essence. You're all free to head to the festival. If you dare. Wait, maybe I should skip this here. <laughs> Are they gone? You're still here. Good, good. There's one more thing we need to discuss. You see, I can't just stroll into the festival the way I am. I look as plastered over wanted posters the nine yards over. We'll need to apply more covert methods. Of course, covertness does not look like this. It looks a little more like this. Behold, my hard work has all been building towards this moment. Oh, that is a cool hat. The esteemed honor of carrying Coffin K to the festival. Well, don't get too choked up. There's still work ahead of us. Onward, servant. My items are back. What happened? Servant, what are you doing? Our, my evil plans are not yet fulfilled. Don't you go and throw me into the towel or the towel or throw me. I can't. <laughs> I wanted to see what would happen if I did that. Oh no, I did not think this through. What crown jewel? Is the festival even that big? 
I haven't even sent out my minions to scout area in... Ahem. Tell you what, sir. While I internally work out of the in intricacies of my um, perfect plan, you can slow down a little and tour my chambers again, right? Time is not of the essence. Alright, well this one's get this video's getting long. Probably gonna end it here. Looks like we've got an adventure ahead of us. Well, yep, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!